Hello everyone, if you ever purchase one of those Victory 2 starter kits, I'm going to show you how to actually make those three LED blinks on the board. As you can see on the camera, by sorry for the bad resolution, it doesn't, uh, doesn't do close caption. So the first thing what you want to do is actually download the uh, MPLAB. So we're going to go to the microchip website, tap MPLAB, and download the ID. So I'll scroll down. Um, just look for the latest version. This one is the 8.73a. Um, we download, and I don't have to show you. The next how to install it is actually download the file, extract the file, and the next thing is just set up and just follow the instructions. That's you probably already know how to do that. But if you don't, I'm gonna post the link on. The we'll show you how to do that. Next thing is you will get this MPLAB. Uh, icon on your desktop so we're going to launch it and go to project management and the project wizard and just we're going to follow the instructions I have the big 32 MX360 but if you have a, an, the USB is probably different so you can look up on the board see which one you have we make sure everything is correct um, the browse we're going to create a folder that I have actually MCU projects, PIX32. That's where I'm going to create a new fold, uh, project file. I'm going to call it LEDs. Save. Next. Here is if you want to add one of something that you already created, uh, see a uh, file. But I don't have anything, so we're going to create everything from scratch. Um, next thing, as you can see, you plug in the board to USB as you can there. And we actually everything is correct you'll see the device ID revision and you should detect it right away um, in another case probably if you don't have the drivers installed it won't work but okay so first thing I'm gonna create a, a, a file called main.c uh, let me see I was playing before with it in MCO projects P32 and we're going to call it main, the main file. That's it. After you have this main, that's it file, what you're going to do is actually source add file and main, let's say, to the new source files. First things, what we're going to do is include actually the header files. So we're going to type the actually the pound sign include uh, less than um, peripheral libraries, p libraries, that age greater than sign. And this actually header file will include all the functions that we're going to add in our program. Um, we're going to start main that um, main, and we're going to put the brackets. And first thing what we're going to do is actually type three is D in capital letters equals zero. That means three is a, a for D everything that you see R D on your microchip controller. It will actually microchip will have. Uh, RD will be as an output, will be an output. And right now, what we're going to do is just make everything on 4D uh, on. So, right now, if we actually compile everything, build all, there you go. Now, we're actually we're going to download the program into the Big 32 Story Kit and we click play. And all you can see, all the lights went on. Great. Now, so we're gonna be, get a bit more crazy and create a while loop. For this while loop, um, what we're gonna do first is actually add a variable, and this variable is gonna be used for actually the delay. So we type int integer. I, uh, no, I'm sorry. I integer i semicolon and we can uh, actually type while parenthesis one that means it's gonna run forever if it was zero it's gonna only run once one only once and now what we want to do is actually create actually uh, set one of the ports rd0 want to actually tell the to toggle on and off so what we're gonna do is type import d toggle bits parenthesis bit zero okay 
this is it's my client. Enter and now we're creating, creating the delay. This delay is actually is a for loop and it's gonna um, the it's gonna start counting up to forty thousand that's about uh, half a second about half a second and it's gonna be on that's gonna be a delay for about half a second so so now if everything goes well the red LED should be blinking every half a second so put build all download into the pic32 starter kit and we click play uh, as you can see port D everything should be on but the LED um, RD0 should be blinking. Half a second on, half a second off, half a second on, off, on, off. Great. Um, so now let's go to make the other LEDs blink. Um, what we're going to do is actually just copy the same function and copy and paste it a couple more times. But what we're going to do is change the bit 0 to bit 1 and 2 or the one RD2 and we're gonna make everything to as soon as it starts it's gonna start off so all the issue will be off when we start oh, I forgot to build it and now download victory 2 and play so right now it's gonna be on 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 toggle off 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 toggle on on off toggle up, up, up. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be making more videos regarding microcontrollers and ARM processors and embedded Linux. Thank you for watching.